We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Texas Rangers and the New York Yankees. The Yanks are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Masahiro Tanaka is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Standing in, Elvis Andrews, and we are set for baseball here this Elvis. evening. Andrews. Here it comes now to Andrus. Hit in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Judge. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Got it, cut it. The right field. Shinsu Chu. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. In past meetings with Tanaka, he checks in with a headline grabbing 409 batting average. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming oh. together, that's a special feeling. And he'll take it to the bag that's himself good. for the out. The designated hitter, really now who? So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. First pitch on its way. 1 0. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Two out, nobody on. A little roller toward the hole. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. Rangers set down in order. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Jordan Lyles will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Here, here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Now the pitch. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. And, fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. And it's fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes to two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch high fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is there and he has it for the first out. Batting second, the designated hitter, number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He brings a batting average just south of 320 into this one. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hey. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off and it's one and two. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. The count now at two and two. The pitch. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Drilled to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Nothing fires me up more than watching an good. offensive player stay the inside of baseball and drive Error. it the other way. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. Man at first for him following the one out single. From the stretch. Urshela leads off first with one away. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that tape. Two balls and a strike now. To two and two now. <laughs> and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. It might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. A runner on first with two away. A ball and a strike. Lyles comes set. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. 3-2 pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Fouled off. The 
next 3 2. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. So two on with two away, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike one to start the at-bat. It's going to be back to some serious T-work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Comes set. The 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. 0 oh and 2. Here it is. Fastball just off the inside corner. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. A 1 2 pitch. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. The 2-2. And this one's in the dirt. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. 3-2. Count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. We are still scoreless. Coming in for his first at bat, Joey Gallo showing some definite confidence at the plate right now, and his recent numbers are reflecting that. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. The 1 0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. The one two. Misses, ball two. Two-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. To the plate now, Danny Santana. A swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 14 homers and he's driven in 45.
Good hard sinker that time, and he's in control 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. At the plate now, Ronald Guzman. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Guzman is a batting line residing in the 230s. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. No score here as we play inning number two. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And that's through for a hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hit's all they get. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. D.J. LeMayhew. Now here it comes. Lays off 1 and 0. Popped him up. Guzman in foul ground. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. That is that. No left fielder. My God. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Talkman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Nope. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. 2-0 to the Yankees left fielder. Three and oh now. Well, I'll tell you from where I'm sitting, it looks like he's starting to rush his delivery out there. But someone needs to remind him to stay back and let his arm get out front. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Now in the box, Luke Voigt. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. First pitch of the at-bat. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Here's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Oh, 
And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. on the ground to third. Frazier is there. Little pitch and catch chance for Odor at second base and that'll do it. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. So next to the plate for Texas Todd Frazier 7 8 9 bottom of the order set to go here in the third. First offering on its way. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. And now pitch on the way. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, started this guy backwards. Couple of off speed pitches early. Followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Robinson Chirinos. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Up next for the Rangers, Rupnit Odor. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. That's to the left and foul. One ball, one strike. Third inning, no score to this point. A ball and two strikes now. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. LeMayhew for one. Now that the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. First pitch of the at bat. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game. Now, the problem with it, though? Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base.
Here's the 1-1. One, one. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for Texas. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Brett Gardner is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside 1-0. This is on the ground over to first. And that is through into right field for a single. Now batter, number 29. Into the box now, Gio Urshela as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Here's big Aaron Judge. And so take a look at ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. nowhere near the zone it's 2 and 0 now a time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base the 2 0 this is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Striding in once again, Gary Sanchez reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. He's set. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. The 0 1 pitch. Fouled away. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Not on that one. Very close, but it's to two and two now. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 2-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
I'm really impressed by that strikeout, and I'll tell you why. He should have gotten a call on the pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases-loaded situation, that can drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. What I loved is he didn't let him take it out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice job of taking it one pitch at a time. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Now the 1-0. One, -oh. one and one the count now. As a look, now the pitch. Line drive to left. Boom goes the dynamite. So he will touch him all on the grand slam and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as they move on top four to nothing. Yeah, and you've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded, with a power hitter at the plate. The best thing he could do in that situation is to try to keep him from making hard contact. Well, now so much for that. He obviously made a mistake, DJ. and the big slugger oh, made him pay. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Ball, that's in. You look in the dugout, you can tell that manager's getting ready to come out on that top step. If he doesn't get out of this situation right here, and it's a tough one, I think the bullpen comes in. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Now to the plate, Mike Talkman. He drew a walk his first time up. From the stretch. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Talkman, the former Colorado Rocky, he was acquired via trade last year. Yeah, this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now. Knows what the manager and coaching staff expect from him. Is not taken aback by anything. He's been through the spring training process and gotten to know everybody in this organization top to bottom. set here comes the 1 1 and he fouls this one off the 1 2 is taken for ball two four runs here in this half inning. Hammers it to deep right field. Back goes Chu at the track. Boom goes the dynamite. A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number nine on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right. But it just kept carrying and carrying. And the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back. But no dice. Colby well, Allard is going to come on to pitch Alfred, here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Colby Allard.
Now batting. Standing the in now. Break. Luke Voigt. As the first pitch here should be high, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0 home. Two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Here now the 2 2. Is swung on and missed strike three. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Back up the middle. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. Brett Gardner is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. From the stretch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And that ends the inning. All told, ten men come to the plate here. Six of them score. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees six and the Rangers nothing. Settling in now, Shin Su Chu. He starts the he inning, and Dan, the they're range. down six in the early right going, so what do they need to do to His claw team. back into yeah. this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. And now pitch on the way. First pitch is a splitter for a cold strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. One out. The well, it's still early, but it's also worth yeah, noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. One gone in the Texas fourth. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. First pitch of the at bat. Count one and The one oh home. Lined hard to center field. 
And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, the left fielder, Joey Gallo. Into the box now, Joey Gallo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he... And meanwhile now, here's a drive out to right center. And this ball is going to clear the wall. It's a home run. Big Joey Gallo leaves the yard with a solo shot. Number 21 for him on the season. And they're on the board. It's 6-1. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. Stepping in now, Danny Santana. Danny batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one looking to put the ball in play here he went down on strikes in his first at bat he pulls this one into right that gets down and the inning continues Hey, d -Row, are you aware of this? After that knock right there, that's an 11-game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11? This guy's dinner tastes different. One ball, no strikes to count. One run on three hits and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Two and oh now. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate, and that usually means damage done. Three and oh to him now. on the stretch and a good comeback there it's three and one got to believe he had the green light in that situation two outs 3-0 count this guy can certainly handle the bat that's a perfect situation to let him loose but I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area and it wasn't what he was looking for and a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four and as now a result that. that'll move a runner up into scoring position uh, now with two away Here's Todd Frazier now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Looking to minimize the damage here. Ball match outside. Two down, runners at first and second. Splitter that misses too low, and he's behind 2 and 0 now. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. Three balls. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The 3 1. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Now at the plate, Robinson Chirinos. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. 
Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't oh. stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. One and oh, the count. Two out, base is loaded. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. The runners will hold, but meanwhile, the count moves to 2-0. and oh. Swing and a fly ball to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Rangers do get one back, however, on the strength of this home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Yankees six and the Rangers one. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said their ability to get on the attack and chase the opposing starter from the game prior to the fourth inning obviously sets them up nicely for the rest of the game. Now, he just hopes they can keep that same focus at the plate in the middle and late frames, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. Ready to go in Ready the bottom go. of the fourth. Yeah, yeah. And standing in is the That's DH, Gio Urshela. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Now the pitch. Ball. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot down the line in left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as it's now a six run ball game. Aaron Judge. This will get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swings through it for strike number two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. So with his day fully over now, you get a look at the pitching line for the Rangers starter, and clearly he was off his game this evening. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two home runs. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. One out, nobody on. Another one sent foul. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. And it's fouled away.
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Lifted in the air out to center field. Chu has to come in from the next area code to put this one away. Wow. Now batting. Not shortstop. Weber. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder Glaber Torres. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. And he misses low with it, 2 and 0. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Seven runs, an equal number of hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot down the line in left, his second home run of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. That's the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit on the ground out to short. Andrus has it. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We played four full. It's the Yankees eight, and the Rangers one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled off. Again, another foul ball. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Torres is there. One out. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here it comes now to Andres. Popped him up. Sanchez is under it. Two gone. Now batting the right fielder, Kintu Ju. Ready once again, Shin Su Chu. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. 
Oh, and one count and the pitch. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Torres brings it in. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Now batting. The designated hitter. Billy Calhoun. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 0 1. And oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Bounce towards the second baseman. Scooped up. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Rangers leave one. It's still an eight to one ball game. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Mike Talkman. The last at that, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. That misses 1 and 2. Now here it comes. Chopped toward the second baseman. He's right there. And there's one down now. Now batting. The first baseman. Luke. Boyd. So digging in now, Luke Voigt. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here comes the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Not close, it's 2 0. Oh. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot down the line in left. Number 17 for him on the season as they've widened this lead to eight now. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Matty B, how about this, b -Roll? If you come to watch an offense, you pick the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. Jesse Chavez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar. Drill down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2.
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Line to the right side. That's in for a base hit and he's two for three. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Here's Brett Gardner now. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the 0 1. One ball, one strike. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Runner at first here, one man out. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Now the payoff pitch home, and he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now batter, number 29. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Gio Urshela trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Chu has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Digging in now, Aaron Judge. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Oh one. 1 here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. From the belt, the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, Joey Gallo. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Now here's the pitch. Whoa, Pretty standard fastball right there 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. 
I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. At the plate now, Danny Santana. A ball and no strikes. He's one for two in this one. The 1 0. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Santana will take the turn and head for second now. And he'll pull into second with one away. The baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he no is bad. on one no right push. now. No question. He's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Into the box, Ronald right. Guzman. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Here comes the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled away. Still one and two. Hit out towards second. But Mayhew towards second. He's got it. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now, this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Now batting, Todd Frazier. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Two outs here with a runner at third. And that one misses upstairs. 2 and 0. Oh. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. 2 and 1 after the foul ball there. Too high that time, and it's three and one. And it's up to a three two full count now. We got full count. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Yankees lead it 9-1. to one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. 
A ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Right back to him, and it's off his shoe. Throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Torres will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. From the stretch, a fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One ball, one strike to count. Nobody out, runner on first. Rip down the first baseline. Step on the bag for one, and they'll get the tag on him at second. It's a 3 6 double play. Now back. Stepping into the box, DJ LeMayhew. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Chavez will put this one away and the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit. No errors and no one left on. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front, nine to one. Your Luis Sessa is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number Yankees. seven. Number 85, Luis Sessa. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. The count is 1 and 2. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. The 1 2. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's Rogan Odor now. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. One out, nobody on. Two and oh now. Three and oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. 
He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Here it comes, the 3 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. A full count for Odor, three balls and two strikes. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. LeMayhew's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So the Rangers batting order turns over and set to go. Elvis Andrews, he's hitless in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Fastball and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. A 1 1. That's ball. You got two balls, one strike. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And it's full now, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail big. It's nine to one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Talkman. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. That's ball one. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right handers begun to warm up out there. The 1 0 home. Misses off the plate. Got his 2 0 fastball but he was way behind 2 and 1. Pitch on the way. Two and two the count. Here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Chu has a read on it. One down. The batter, the first baseman, Luke. Digging in and looking for more, Luke Voigt. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this AB to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. In there at the letters 0 and 1. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Line toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. Man, I'm not sure what to make of this one. The ball was hit hard, but it looked routine. The only thing I can think of is maybe he lost it in the lights there. That's a tough break. So coming to the plate, Miguel Andujar is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, that's off the plate.
the 1 0 home. 1 and 1 the count. From the stretch. Now this is on the ground at first. We'll see if they can get two. To second for one. On to Guzman. They get them both, and that retires the side. Shinsu Chu will lead things off after the break. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead this one nine to one. Digging in to try it again. Shinsu Chu. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Here's the first pitch to him. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner is there, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The batter, number five, designated hitter, really Calhoun. To the plate now for Texas is the D.H., Willie Calhoun. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. One out, nobody on. Softly hit toward the hole. Fielded cleanly. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Left fielder. Joey Gallo. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Joey Gallo. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. In there, one and one. Two out, nobody on. And he takes a cold strike, two. One ball, two strikes. reached for and popped into the air back behind second. Torres is under it to make the catch to end the inning. Rangers set down in order. They trail big. It's 9-1. to one. Bottom of inning number 8 set to go. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Brett Gardner. First pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to second. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now back, number 29. In now is the Yankees' DH, Gio Urshela. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Here's the pitch. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Santana is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. At the plate, Aaron Judge. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. 
Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Bases are empty here with two men out. That evens it up one and one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Hit down the third baseline. Frazier's up with it. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Striding in, Danny Santana starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Torres picks it up and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play. Up next for the Rangers, the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Coming to the plate now, Ronald Guzman. One for two in the ball game thus far. Here it comes. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Now the pitch. Oh. Missed low and inside with it, 1-1. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. A 2 and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. And he fouls this one off. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Todd Frazier will be next. Now the three and two pitch. Hit hard, but foul. Another full count pitch home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now that third base. Last shot for the Rangers in this one. And standing in a power threat in Todd Frazier, the third baseman. First pitch on its way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. One oh. No bets off the plate. Ball two. Two out, nobody on. That's ball I'm no pitching coach, but it doesn't look like he's finishing his pitches here. That misses high. Ball three. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. 
but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. 3-1 the count now. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And that's in there. Base hit. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. Oh, that's, that's a great. jam sandwich, but able yeah. to mix in a knot. Yeah. To the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Two out with the man at first. And he falls behind 0-2. And, and now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there? He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. So here's the left-handed bat of Rudnit Odor. One ball, no strikes to count. Two men are on with two men out. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Now the 2 1 pitch. That's ball three. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Texas down to their final strike in this one. And it's fouled away. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And he will make the catch with ease, and the Yankees will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. 9-1 to one is the way this one ends. So the Bronx Bombers pick up win number 70 to top the division. Masahiro Tanaka wins for the league best 15th time. Jordan Lyles permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Luis Sessa takes the rare three-inning save his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight.